Okay, so in the previous video, we discussed about the background of the study of the fiber reinforced concrete model. Now, I am going to do a discussion on the need of fiber reinforcement, right? So, let me just only change the background color here to make it more aesthetic, more visible, right? And yeah. So, okay. Um, We need to understand that why we need the fiber reinforcement. So, although concrete is strong in compression but weak in tension, so uh, leading to the formation of cracks under tensile loads, and the addition of fibers to concrete makes helps to arrest the propagation of these cracks, thereby improving the tensile strength, toughness, ductility, and other uh, properties of the material that we discussed in this discussion. So. Um, most of the time, when when you are studying the uh, RCC beams and your graduate courses, you find out that uh, you have some sort of beam or uh, structure elements in which you have this uh, blue uh, center line and you have this compression zone and tension zone something like this right and uh, you you get this this kind of forces and you get elastic and inelastic response so uh, we have this this uh, this region below the center line as a compression zone right and um, we have this above region as tension zone, right? So, um, uh, for this tension zone, all the struggle is for this tension zone that we are studying here. So, uh, concrete, uh, whenever the load is applied on it, uh, we may experience either the shear failure, uh, the uh, flexure failure, or brittle failure on this compression zone. So this struggle is for whole of this uh, analogy that if those fibers that we are studying here are added to this uh, beam here, it will improve their properties. Now uh, there are some sort of the uh, the fibers that we we need to consider in our study. The first one is the uh, steel fiber that are uh, known for enhancing toughness and impact resistance. Um, the second one is the synthetic fibers. So, synthetic fibers are polypropylene, nylon, and polyester fibers that are used for controlling plastic shrinkage, cracking. And uh, these are sort of a discussion, uh, just like um, the um, enhancement of the properties uh, that we are studying. So, um, we also have glass fibers. These are uh, commonly used in architectural application of a good tensile strength. And you will have study uh, the, the aesthetic properties as compared to the uh, strength based properties. Then we have the carbon fibers. So, these are used in high performance application where superior strength and modulus of elasticity is required. And we have natural fibers, including fibers just like jute, sea cell, and coconut oil, which are uh, sustainable and improve crack resistance in low budget area. So, uh, we need to uh, understand which kind of fibers are required in our um, analysis. So, let's say uh, if we consider uh, types of fibers and fiber reinforced concrete right plain simple discussion 
right? Uh, we have various kind of fibers that are discussed here and some are even mentioned here. So if you go to this research article, if it is accessible, you can look at the types of fibers. Unfortunately, we are not able to see them. But yeah, it will load. Uh, you can see here, these are in the green concrete level. These are the uh, classification based on the type of geometry, right? Not something more, but it's a geometrical classification here, which are uh, improved just for increase this bond resistance. So hooks are included in it and all those steps are included in it. So we have these kind of uh, fibers and based on their shapes and their nature, I, and I can see here, I, I mentioned that we have these steel fibers, carbon fibers, glass fibers, uh, coil fibers, jute fibers, and sisal fibers. Some are used in uh, very high importance of the project categorization and other are used in the low importance. So uh, uh, you can see uh, geometrical shapes are here, the straight fibers, the crimp fibers, and uh, stranded fibers. Uh, of course, this will be of high strength resistance and hooked fibers and twisted fibers. Personally, I have done work on the hook fiber and straight fibers uh, and stranded fibers. Uh, so here in this project, we are going to um, use the straight fiber, but I will try to include the hooked fiber uh, in the uh, files as well, just in case if you are interested to uh, learn it, right? So yeah. These are the type of the fibers and some are based on the organic material, some are inorganic materials. So uh, you can use them in your research based on your experimental work if you are working on those fibers to understand the uh, behavior of the, uh, fibers reinforced concrete. But make sure if, if you are using the organic type fibers, you have to consider the textile engineering application uh, and the uh, finite element analysis study. While if you are studying the steel fibers, then we have to focus on the fibers based on the steel behavior. So uh, homogenization also help in that manner. Uh, so we have the mechanics of fiber reinforced concrete and um, and we need to uh, take care of that uh, aspect so the behavior of frc under stress i discussed that it, 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 the fiber in concrete is present it enhanced the post breaking behavior of the material unlike plain concrete which fell suddenly and after taking frc um, exhibit a very good way of uh, resistance and it also arrest the crack mechanism so uh, it enhanced the uh, growth uh, of the resistance so also in low transport mechanism it acts as a bridge improving overall ductility and energy absorption capacity of the concrete and the stress transfer between the matrix and the fibers it is crucial for the effectiveness of frc and uh, without wasting any further time um uh, let's discuss the, the the three main regions that are present in the uh, uh, fiber reinforced concrete study let's say we have this this uh, for the uh, for the application of the load we got this curve we have this um, stress right in, in, in unit uh, strain sorry and we have stress right and 
regard this curve, we have the pre-cracking region, post-cracking region, and strain hardening region. One point here, and I will change the color to blue. Right, and then I will switch to red to make it a strain hardening region here. And it can go like this. So we basically have uh, this uh, this type of behavior. We have three regions and the fiber reinforced concrete. The first one is the uh, pre-cracking region, right? The second one, as I mentioned, it is the post-cracking region when the crack appears. The third one is the strain hardening region, right? which appears like this so let's say we have this this beam that we are studying here and uh, a load is applied on this fiber reinforced concrete uh, so in the term of the presence of uh, load if this first stage we consider the first stage no cracks will appear if we consider the second stage then certain type of crack will appear on it and if you can see the third stage the crack will grow properly and strain hardening will appear on this beam. So we have to consider all these and modeling the material properties of the fiber reinforced concrete structure, right? So um, uh, for the tensile and flexural strength uh, and friction mechanics behavior, uh, all these should be incorporated in the material modeling of the abacus and then we should discuss it so uh, there are some sort of aci codes uh, which also provide details on the fiber reinforced concrete and mention all those aspects right so uh, yeah uh, you have to be careful about the construction practice and all those uh, uh, aspects in your model right so let me discuss the uh, the parts that if, if you are purchasing this model what parts you are going to get with this uh, file so i have these uh, uh, script generated files right these are the uh, cylinders and these are the fibers uh, i will try to include the, uh, the the all of the fibers that are present over here right and, and you can check the length of the fibers if you go to tools, query, and uh, distance. You can find out the length of the fibers over here, right? 10, 10 mm is the fiber length for uh, all of the uh, fibers, right? And some fiber will touch each other, some fiber will not touch each other. And you can find out the uh, centrides of these fibers as well. So this orientation is important and uh, we can uh, kind of consider this orientation to be an effectiveness of the parameter to consider in our analysis for the alignment of the fibers. So this is a kind of uh, research perspective. So uh, let's Press Ctrl T to bring back this, and I have these parts that I designed with the. Uh, let's save it. Right, let's save it. So I have these parts, and if you are working with the model that i'm going to provide you so uh, you have to click on the file if you are practicing it and after selecting on the file you then need to come here to import and then part and after clicking on part um, you will get something like this these, these are the fibers that are present over here you can see here and you can import whatever fiber you want to import here these are in the igs extension which you can find out easily in this uh, folder right uh, all these will be provided to you so if you are performing any kind of research study on it 
you will be able to get this in your simulation so yeah let's uh, go to the properties and uh, i will discuss these in the next lecture